Okay, the moon paradox. There is the moon pointing nice and high in the sky. And we look over here, and there's the sun. Not nearly as high, and uh, apparently not where the moon's pointing to. Now, if you follow the equatorial path and just follow like this, then it does come to the uh, sun. It's pointing right at the sun if you follow the equatorial path, which is the path that they follow. But if we use the Earth as our horizon, which is at a different angle than the equatorial path, then we get the apparent conundrum. So what if we take a rope and stretch it tight from the sun straight over to the moon and take a picture with a wide angle camera like this? And that's what I've done with a friend, he helped me. I tied a rope to the top of a roof rack on a car and then I leaned on the other end holding on to it, holding it as tight as I could. Plus I was holding up a welding helmet visor so that it's like got a thick green dark green glass solar filter in it so you can see what you're doing when you're arc welding without hurting your eyes because wel arc welding is very bright so and then my friend hooked his old GoPro up to his iPhone so he could see where the Sun and the moon was in the shot and it's a wide-angle lens and so then he guided me to where to hold the rope and the mat, the welding mask. So that allowed us to see if you stretched a rope up alongside the sun and the moon, you can see that the moon is actually pointing at the sun. The terminator line and the lit side of the moon is in fact pointing right straight at the sun. Following you will see the... Uh, actual footage that I captured these stills from. So you can see here we were struggling a bit because the cell phone screen wasn't very bright and, it was hard, and small and it was hard to see exactly where the moon and the everything were lined up on there and then plus we were trying to coordinate to keep the sun shining through the mask. But anyway, it, it worked. If you go and stretch a rope up between the sun and the moon, the um, lit side of the moon will point exactly at the sun, right along the rope. Okay, up. Let me move the mask and you can see where the sun is on the camera. Okay, should be in that area. So in, out, out, go out, go up. Out, out. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay. And the moon is. Uh. There's moon. Okay. Um. In. In. Out, out, out. Take the mask away. Okay. It's right there in that area. Oh, oh, uh, up, up. Up, there, up, stay. Now do you, can you see the moon right on the rope and the sun, is the sun right on the rope too? They're both like the same distance. I would need to get down on my belly. Okay, so are they pretty close to like within a rope's diameter or a moon's diameter? Yes. They're like the same distance away. From the sun and the moon? Yeah. Okay. Oh! It's a good one. Okay. The sun's resting on the 
So is the sun's resting on the rope right now. Is the moon resting on the rope? And the rope, I mean the, the moon, is about an inch. So if I go down, is that good? Like that? Go down a little bit more. Down, 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 down. Mask up. Uh, uh, no, 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 mask back. Yeah, stay, stay right there. No, no, down. Ro uh, mask down. Mask down. Stay. Mask up. Inch up. Stay. Mask up. Uh, mask uh, one inch. One inch, which way? Up. Stay. Mask in an inch. Perfect. Now what do we have? About an inch on both sides. For the moon and the sun? For the moon and the sun. Okay. M mask in an inch. Perfect. Mask out an inch. Oh no, stay. Mask up an inch. Perfect. Mask in uh, an inch. Good. That looks fine. The symmetry of the moon and sun are in the same place. Is the, is the moon pointing at the sun? Yes. Alright. Okay. The end.